But whole time, you can say what you want. There's some people going to sliver that law all over you. They're going to sliver it all over you. They talking about they talking about whatever they want to talk about, but they're going to take that thing. And then my thing is, how can you start chopping up the law? If the law was always sent as a whole package, how can y'all chop up and throw this away and put this here when it was always the whole thing coming down? Yeah. Exactly. It was always the whole thing. Now they're trying to say, oh, to the best of your ability, oh, you don't need that part of it. He only wants you to keep this part of it. Where's any of that in the New Testament? There's nowhere in Scripture. You no. cannot break the law of Moses in that way. The law of Moses is a package deal. The sacrifices, the ordinance, and the judgments, which all package came deal. with the old covenant. You cannot separate and say, okay, Christ did away with the sacrificial law. So guess what's going with that? The Levitical priests and all of that stuff that came with it what you see in Leviticus chapter 16. All of these things are connected. Those things were done away with. God said he was going to do a better covenant, a new thing. Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34. Then we can also see that in Hebrews chapter 8, Hebrews chapter 9, Hebrews chapter 10, which was clearly broken down. And when you look at Hebrews chapter 8, verses 12 and 13, which Mr. Johnson always tends to avoid, mm -hmm, I caught you, and yes, it you will tell you clearly that it was vanishing away. Stop that. The law does state that you should circumcise your children on the eighth day because that's according to the covenant. A grown man circumcising himself is not according to the covenant. It's not. It's not according to the covenant. But a eight, circumcising your child on the eighth day is according to the covenant. That's, mm -hmm. that's my point there. So if a man is led by the spirit to, to be circumcised, I ain't got no problem with that. If he's not, I ain't got no problem with that either. But if a man chooses to circumcise his children on the eighth day, then he's doing what the law says do. Sir, you okay. cannot you cannot pick and choose what you want to do out no. of the law. It does no, not work that way. In saying. Genesis 17, <laughs> verses 9, 10, 11, and 12, Mo, I mean, uh, uh, Abraham was uh, specifically told by God that all had uh, all that was in within his camp had to be circumcised. That was also transferred into the law of Moses. Now, yes. again, when we go in under the new covenant, Paul clearly states right here in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 18, was anyone at that time of his called already circumcised, let him not seek to remove the mark of circumcision. Was anyone of, of that time was called uncircumcised, let him seek not circumcision. For neither circumcision counts for anything nor uncircumcision circumcision, but keeping the commandments of God, each one should remain in the condition in which he was called. Where you are a bond servant, when you call, do not be concerned about it. But if you can gain your freedom, avail yourself of the opportunity. For he who was called in the Lord as a bond servant is a freed man of the Lord. Likewise, he who is free when called a bond servant of Christ. So what you are doing, you are picking and choosing what you want out of the law of Moses. And clearly the biblical text shows within Deuteronomy and also Paul stated it in Galatians, I believe five and four probably that, listen, you are, if you're going to keep the whole law, you are a debtor to the whole law. You cannot pick and choose what you feel or what you see fit. It does not work that way. To uh, Mr. Howard, I have a question. Do yes, you believe that you are, are keeping all of the law or majority of the law, sir? I believe that man can keep the entire law right now. That's I not what I asked you. That I, I'm I believe you. that I am keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, all the ones that apply to me. Okay, yes, so are you, me, keeping, are you keeping, sir, are you keeping Deuteronomy chapter 16, 16, sir? What's that say? Deuteronomy chapter 16, 16. All right, let me get that for you. It says right here, three times a year, all your males shall appear before the Lord your God at the place that he will choose, at the Feast of Unleavened Bread, at the Feast of Weeks, and at the Feast of Booths. They shall not appear before the law empty-handed. Are you keeping that law, sir? Yes, ma'am. I keep that law every year, three times so you a go year. To, so you I, go to Jerusalem three times a year. Well, what I temple? didn't hear you say anything about Jerusalem in that law. Oh, it's sir, that's the, exactly what it's talking about. I didn't hear her say Jerusalem. That's sir, three, three well, wait, you go three times a year. Well, let me, let me, now give me a second and hear me out. 
the law does not state that you have to go to Jerusalem. That's a lie. Sir, hold on. Sir, let me yeah, talk. Sir, this I'm is this is according you. right here. If I take it back in the rest of the context, it is talking about Where the land of Israel. It is no, talking let about him, Jerusalem. Let him talk. We got to get this on. We got to get all of this out. Let, let him talk. Can you explain to us? Yeah, I'm going to explain it to you. Before, when they first went into the land, they, they weren't going to Jerusalem. They were going to what? Shiloh. Then what happened? He said, y'all sinned. So he removed his name from Shiloh. If you heard what she read, she read that you had to go three times a year to wherever he puts his name. And then he moved it from Shiloh to Jerusalem. But then what does he say? He says, you been, Jerusalem been wicked. You're going to go into captivity. He removed his name to Jerusalem, didn't he? So where's his oh, name now? Hold on, hold on. Because the law don't say go to Jerusalem. That's not what the law says. The law says go wherever he puts his name. Now, I'm going to show you this. Paul said the law is spiritual. No. Now, listen to this. Jesus said what? Where two or three are gathered together in my name. Where two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst. He said, you go to wherever I put my name. Wherever I put my... He didn't say go to Jerusalem. You can't find that in anywhere in that Torah. Deuteronomy 16, 18, sir. Within thou all thy gates. gates. In the Torah, that he says, go to Jerusalem three times a year. I, I give you a right there in Deuteronomy I'll within you, thy I'll gates. Thousand dollars if you can find where it says, go to Jerusalem. Three Sir, times judge and officers shall thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee throughout thy tribes, and thy sh uh, th uh, they shall judge the people with the judgment. It's telling talking about within those gates, sir. Yes, no, the gates are wherever you live at, sir. Do Deut Deuteronomy that's, that's 16. Where the gates are. The gates are wherever you live at. Sir, that's not what the scripture says. Sir, that's not what the scripture says. You are adding and subtracting from the word of God. And Deuteronomy 12, uh, 12, uh, Deuteronomy 4 and 2 clearly tells you do not add and subtract from the word of God. Revelation 22 verses 18 and 19 also tells you do not add to this book of prophecy for you should gain the plagues of this book of prophecy and do not subtract or subtract from this book of prophecy for your name shall be stricken from the book of life. Don't make that mistake again. Again, this is talking about Israel. So again, please answer the question. Deuteronomy 1616. 16. Are you keeping that? That's not play games. You gotta mute yourself, brother. I'm trying to. She asked me a question. I just wanted to answer it. Go ahead, brother. Yes, I, yes, I am keeping that because we're two or three are together together in his name. There he is. That's where he's at. Bereen, can I appeal to you real at? quick? Bereen, can I appeal to you directly? Bereen, this is a clear example that they use, they, they use, they pick and choose what they want to use out the New Testament to abuse Old Testament scriptures. Clearly right here is talking about the land of Israel, that all males shall come up to the land of uh, land of Israel, Jerusalem. That's the meeting place that they should uh, they should do this regarding the feast. Now, he wants to abuse grace or use certain places out the New Testament to do this so-called keep to your best ability. It does not work like that, Brother Bereen. I promise you. They're not keeping the law. Oh, yeah.